I'm not sure what to tell you about this book. It's difficult to get excited about or invested in a book in which you don't care about any of the characters. It's a very cynical book. That by itself is not a problem. I I need to have some character with some sort of ethics or morality or some way for me to sympathize or care about them. And there is nobody that matches that description in this book. You can support 30 Second Sci-Fi and my other projects by becoming a patron. There is a link in the description below. It was an engaging enough read for me to finish it, but the author never really had me on her side, and she did a couple of things at the end of the book that were so outrageously stupid that she lost me altogether. I've heard about this book. I've seen people write about it and, and say how unique and interesting it is. Well, it's certainly unique. By the cover art alone, you can tell it's about an alien in the White House. And I had always imagined it was like those bogus stories you see on the cover of the gossip rags about a secret gray alien meeting with the president and advising him on scientific secrets. But it's nothing like that. It takes place in the 1990s. The gray aliens landed en masse in the 1950s. Their presence is not a secret. They have pushed their way into every government in the world. And they're not here to bring peace and enlightenment like so many New Age urban legends seem to say they are just as decadent and amoral as we are. I can't slam it completely, but I can't get excited about it either.